I just got some data from Rocking Horse Dreams in, in the email inbox. Um, I updated on the board. Um, other than people going towards labyrinths, uh, two, two big things kind of stood out to me. The first one is um, Sir Gawain got beat his, uh, well he didn't beat his challenge, but he got a card from his challenge over in the ancient labyrinth and he dismissed to the number one position right here, right near my sergeant. I don't think that's probably his target though. He's probably just going to go back to the labyrinth again. What is interesting about all this is Boris moved from his position right by um, Paraxian's fire where he was um, cooking and went over to here, which makes me think that Sir Gawain has a gun for Boris Andronov. That's what I'm going to assume. There's some other possibilities. I don't, I, I've never played a game with Rocking Horse Dream, so I don't know how he thinks. Um, I, you know, he could be thinking he wants to get him to this labyrinth, but I, I, it seems the most likely thing is he's trying to give him a gun. So I need to get the sergeant out of there as quickly as possible. I think I'm going to try and move the sergeant into the labyrinth. Hopefully this cover will, will help, but we'll see. I have a little, um, I have some plans. Um, so the other thing is Spartacus is chasing Agent 911 and I don't know if this is Rocking Horse Dreams idea of a joke but it's really pretty scary to have this this guy in with a this big guy who looks like he should have a sword but doesn't thankfully right now chasing my my scrawny bumbling agent around I don't think that's very nice um I I'm going to assume they're just happen to be headed in the same direction, and that's why he's there. And maybe he's just trying to intimidate me. Well, if that's the case, it's working. Uh, right, I gotta move my guys for for turn five, and then I'll talk about what I did. And then he's gonna have the opportunity for opportunity fire. I've done my moves for turn five. Uh, the sergeant's heading for this labyrinth. He wants to try and take on little John with his big stick. He has an advantage, um, you know, he's a, a better than, he has, he has a good chance of, of doing it. Um, Geronimo handed over this uh, varmint rifle to Paraxian, which is nice, because Paraxian has white, which is the very best in his aim stat, um, that's the target there, which is what this varmint rifle takes. It's not the strongest gun, but, you know, it's, it's one he can use, and there's not... The chances that I would be able to get one to Paraxian who's a slow DD poke is not that great. So, bully for me. Um, Agent 911, really, he, see this jet stream here? That's how fast he is. I'd like to see Spartacus catch up to that. He's not going to. Um, so, that's, that's another great coup. Uh, and then these guys are going to the Labyrinth. All right, I just finished my turn five. Um, no surprise, there's no return opportunity, opportunity fire from Rocking Horse Stream. So pretty much all that happened was Marcus Aurus um, beat a Gaper uh, in the Future Labyrinth and got a Warhammer. And so I definitely have a disadvantage with the Ancient Labyrinth. I'm sending Sergeant Grit over there primarily to I don't know, get him a card, I think. And also because it seemed like a quicker out than to try and run this way towards the modern labyrinth. Um, so I gotta think about where I wanna compete. Uh, ancient labyrinth's probably not the best labyrinth for me to complete, compete it in. It's not um, terribly convenient from a lot of keys. The most convenient labyrinth, I guess, would probably be colonial and modern, are the most convenient. And I think those are the areas I want to compete in. I think I got the future labyrinth pretty well down. I don't think Rocking Horse is going to find much purchase there. Colonial labyrinth, though, he's got two guys heading there right away. Um, and he could be sending Spartacus there as well because uh, it's a long walk for Spartacus to get to the ancient labyrinth. And, you know, if he wants Spartacus to go to the future labyrinth, fine, but that's not really... I don't know if that's a sustainable way for him to advance. So the Colonial Labyrinth, he's going to likely get a good jump on me. Let's take a look at Pat Garrett and Annie Oakley. Not the best adventures, but not bad either. So, you know, chances are they'll at least get some cards out of it. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Black Marker wasn't 
uh, in the lead pretty soon. I got Agent 911 coming up though, and he's going to be able to um, stall there for a while anyway. Uh, that leaves the other kind of competition spot, which is the modern labyrinth. Um, he's getting a jump on me there as well with Melina Arabato. Uh, how, how, and I don't. I, you know, I, when I was doing my initial kind of brief analysis earlier, I was just looking at color of card. Agent 911 is not going to go there. So I pretty much have one guy who's who's um, got an advantage in the modern labyrinth. Um, I also have Arden Glein, though, who's kind of my wild card. So I'm still competitive there. I think I'm going to probably be strongest in these two labyrinths. And if I can either turn this or else get the um, character advantage then I'll be able to keep the game. Ancient Labyrinth, though, I think I should forget about. So the board as it stands, um, he's getting some pretty good, pretty good dismissal rolls, which kind of hurts my cause. Um, but let's see what we can do this turn. Let's see, Annie's gonna make it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, Sir Gawain. I think we're going to send him back in. He gets five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll actually be able to opportunity fire next turn. That's going to hurt, but one, two, three, so it's within range. Um, I need to remember to do that. Let's see, we'll get Pat into the labyrinth, and he will go three, four, five, six. Let's get Boris over there, too. One. Two, three, four, five, six. So I have that going on. Craig has this. Which I don't know why he's doing that. Let's move Melina. Looks like she's gonna get in. That'll cost two, three, four. Five, six, and remember, we already know what this challenge is with the intelligence, and her intelligence is blue, so she'll need a seven to squeak, but hopefully we can get a six out of that and advance that guardian. All right, let's move Spartacus. Um, I think we said he's going to move over here. Oh, yeah, Geronimo's not going to be... 911's over here. And, um, it's still very interesting. Of course, he's played it more, so I'm kind of a little uh, more willing to sacrifice a player, I guess. One of the minions. I called in reinforcements. Because uh, I need them. Let's see what Spartacus is going to do. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. Can you leave that like that? One, two, three, four. Let's okay, let's see if Greg can shoot at us. And of course, another mistake. Um, so Melina, Melina, she can actually move seven. And I only moved her six because she was right there. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. So she'll she'll make it next time. Annie's there next time. Sorry, I'm trying to get some good juju in there. Um, he'll make it next time. Spartacus won't. He has six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, but they'll get into the labyrinth too, so that's good. This is a picture I got in the mail from Rocking Horse Dreams. I don't know what it means, but um, 
that looks to be some sort of, um, I want to say South Asian, Southeast Asian um, deity, perhaps um, from somewhere in India or Indonesia. I don't know. I, I wish I knew more about the world, but I'm ignorant. Um, I, don't, I don't know what he's trying to say about that, but uh, it's the middle of his turn right now. As you can see from that picture, he's moved Annie Oakley uh, to the Colonial Labyrinth. Perhaps this is some sort of blessing. I prefer to think of him blessing his own people as opposed to cursing mine, but we shall see. All right, so Paraxian just revealed his varmint rifle. He's going to be shooting at Boris Andronov right here. The reason why I chose Boris, he could have taken a shot at Sir Gawain as well. The um, reason why I chose Boris over Sir Gawain is um, Boris can get... Boris can score in the modern labyrinth, and I kind of already decided to leave the ancient labyrinth alone. And also, as we're getting cards, Gawain's stock is going to start falling. So, um, and plus he's slow. So, Boris just seemed like the bigger threat to my plan, so let's try and hurt him. Um, I have to get a 9 or better to hit with Paraxian's rifle. That white um, shooting ability is rather good. So, let's see what we get. And we got a six, that is a hit. Now we roll to penetrate, and we have white against his blue armor, which is a pretty good starting armor. He still needs to get, oh no, yellow, sorry. Yellow against blue is nine again. So we got to get nine or better to penetrate. Damage is only one, so if we squeak, we're out of luck. We actually need to get an eight or better. And we got an eight, so that's going to do one damage. No. So it looks like as Boris was traipsing through the key, Paraxian revealed a long rifle and shot him for one damage of his four. That is unfortunate. Hopefully, Sir Gawain can retaliate against grit next turn. I just realized earlier also, as I was looking at this, Annie doesn't have the strength required to throw these axes. So it might behoove me to get those to someone else. All right, let's resolve the Colonial Labyrinth. Count to 10, turn and fire. Defend your Louisiana honor, sir. And it is a, whatever, hand challenge. Yellow against blue is nine, so she needs a 10 since she's colonial. 10, so let's get a nine. Let's pass this bad boy. Seven. Consult this. We need a 10. We got a seven. It's it's a pass. It's not an amaze, unfortunately. It's a pass. One card. We move the guardian. She gets another card. That's much better. Flechette thrower. Ranged auto pistol. Doesn't have good penetrating, but with her, whatever that is. That's, that's not bad, we'll take it. She is dismissed. Two, we need, let's see, where do we want her? Possibly one. I like one, I don't think we're gonna get a one. Three, two, one, three, or two? Six, of course. Which puts her over there. Not bad at the end of the turn. Made some progress.